A well-known Chinese manufacturer, Horizon High Tech, has made a groundbreaking revelation about the development of an astonishing new battery that will go into mass production in 2024. Built with cutting-edge technology, this EV battery is innovative. On a single charge, it boasts an amazing range of up to 1,000 kilometers and a 2 million kilometers lifespan, which is unprecedented. Dubbed the manganese dope L600 LMFP Astroino, this EV battery features an exceptional lifetime rating of 4,000 complete cycles under standard room circumstances. And even in high temperature environments, it can withstand 1,800 cycles, and during lightning fast 19 minute charging sessions, it can produce an astounding 1,500 cycles. Such superb lifetime means that this EV battery may easily outlive the degeneration caused by 2 million kilometers of use before showing any symptoms of deterioration. In order to put this accomplishment into perspective, consider that the typical Australian car travels around 15,000 kilometers annually. As a result, driving an average amount would require 130 years to acquire 2 million kilometers. A proof of the exceptional durability and efficiency of this battery pack. The battery's creator, Goshen High Tech, says that its single cell density is an astonishing 240 watt hour per kilogram. The overall energy density of the pack has greatly increased because of advancements in battery design. Using this extremely robust chemistry, it is possible to achieve a 1000 km range. The executive president of Goshen High Tech's worldwide business division, Dr. Kian, goes into more detail about the battery's outstanding qualities. Notably, the Astro and OL 600 LMFP battery cell has passed every safety test that has been conducted. It has a volume power viscosity of 525 watt hours per liter and a weight power thickness of 240 watt hour per kilogram. At ambient temperature, it has a cycle life of 400 cycles, while at high temperatures, it has an amazing 1,800 cycles. An informative video demonstrating the chemistry, pack design, and the battery's thermal and safety characteristics was also made available by Goshen High Tech. The significant improvement in the volumetric cell-to-pack ratio is highlighted by Dr. Cheng. With the introduction of the L600 cell, a remarkable 76%. Likewise, the system's energy density has increased to 190 watt-hour per kilogram. Surpassing the NCM, nickel, cobalt, and manganese, cell pack energy density that is being produced in large quantities. Despite the fact that lithium iron phosphate, LFP, technology has recently been more well known on the market, there are restrictions on the energy viscosity expansion of LFP batteries that are mass produced. The creation of manganese doped lithium iron manganese phosphate, LMFP, developed as a solution to these problems, marking a significant advancement in battery chemistry. The reduction of both weight and volume was a key factor in the design of this Astroino battery pack. Goshen High Tech used a sandwich structure dual-sided liquid chilling technology and a simple approach. With this design breakthrough, the number of structural pieces was effectively decreased by an amazing 45%, and the weight of these components was dramatically lowered by almost 32%. Goshen High Tech used cutting-edge strategies such as coprecipitation doping encapsulation, novel granulation technology, and new electrolyte additives to overcome difficulties caused by manganese dissolving, low conductivity, and compaction density. The Astroino battery pack contains four layers of rapid heat exhausting channels, thermal insulation materials, and has passed numerous tests, including the crush, short circuit, overcharge, and penetration ones. Beginning in early 2024, production of the Astro and OLMFP battery is anticipated, ushering in a new era of EV batteries with increased driving ranges, decreased costs, and improved performance. Such long-lasting batteries have effects that go beyond only the owners of individual vehicles. The idea of transport as a service TAAS, and ride-sharing services open up intriguing new possibilities as a result of this unheard of longevity. The cost of transportation per mile might be cut by an astounding 10 to 20 times with the introduction of transportation as a service, rendering vehicle ownership unaffordable for the majority of people who are already struggling to make ends meet. A major industrial turning point has been reached with this advancement in electric vehicle battery technology. The Astroino battery has the potential to transform the transportation industry and pave the way for a greener, more effective future because of its exceptional performance and durability. We excitedly await the favorable effects these revolutionary innovations will have on our lives and the environment around us as they become more prevalent. 
Meanwhile, after an initial relaunch, Toyota was allegedly mulling a major revision of its EV strategy to compete with Tesla and postponing EV initiatives like the compact cruiser. We now have a better idea of how that shift will appear thanks to Toyota. Your eyes may bulge when you see some statistics, like the possible range of 930 miles. What you should know is as follows. The global rollout of a selection of next-generation EVs will begin in 2026. By 2030, the brand will be producing 1.7 million EVs annually, or around half of its current global output. This is more than the 25,000 EVs Toyota shipped internationally in 2022. Toyota will begin releasing its next-generation batteries in 2026, including both a more inexpensive popularization version and a performance version. The performance lithium-ion version will cost 20% less to create than the BZ4X batteries and have a range of up to 621 miles. It will also charge from 0 to 80% in 20 minutes or less. Instead of lithium-ion chemistry, the popularization version will use lithium-ion phosphate. Its range will be 20% greater than the BZ4X's, about 300 miles, 40% less expensive to make, and it will charge from 10 to 80% in 30 minutes or less. And so do you think this will be the true game changer for EVs? Compared to batteries currently utilized in vehicles, these batteries have a significantly higher energy density. According to Toyota, their goal is for the technology to cut the size, weight, and price of batteries in half. Toyota has set a target range of roughly 744 miles, but could potentially increase it to about 930 miles, which would entail much more range being added. The quick rate of charging is an additional advantage of solid-state batteries. Although they can sustain a faster charging rate, solid-state batteries don't get as hot. According to Toyota, solid-state batteries may charge completely from 10 to 80% in less than 10 minutes, which is extremely close to the time it takes to refuel a car with gasoline. Toyota needs to show that it can construct a solid-state battery that works. That might occur soon. Toyota is currently devoting all of its resources on battery research. They just made an announcement about a development that will make it easier to produce the material used to build batteries. And the company now thinks it can create a solid-state battery with a 745-mile range that charges in under 10 minutes. Obviously being able to accomplish it is only the beginning of the process. Toyota must also be able to scale the method for use in non-expensive Lexus LFA replacement automobiles. Toyota says it might be able to mass-produce solid-state batteries as early as 2027, according to the Financial Times. Meanwhile, the largest battery producer in the world, CATL, said this week that it has created new lithium-ion battery materials that would significantly increase charging efficiency for electric vehicles, particularly in extremely cold climates. The head scientist of CATL, Wu Kai, reportedly stated at a forum in Shanghai that the company's newly discovered electrolyte materials hold the key, according to Reuters. Wu didn't go into specifics on how CATL has managed to increase battery performance. In extreme cold, minus 20 degrees Celsius, he claimed the new electrolyte could enhance efficiency by 50% and by 43% in more temperate conditions. Winter weather poses a barrier for electric vehicles, EVs, since the cold delays reactions in the electrolyte solution that are necessary to transfer a charge between the battery cathode and the anode. The battery's range is further decreased in cold weather since it must work harder to heat both the inside of the car it is installed in and itself. And that ends today's episode. What battery do you think will be the holy grail of battery technology? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.